change, it don't change, never change, never change. It don't change, it don't change, never change, never do. It don't change, it don't change, never change, never do. It don't change, it don't change, let them learn either way. I just say, either way, why go out of my way? Just to make them leave, just to make them leave. Let them burn, let them hate till we make a change. Let them go, let them stay, let them Spending my time, my fam reside, yeah Cause that's all that matters to me, yeah Cause that's all that matters to me, yeah Doesn't matter what your eyes see Cause I'm spending time with myself a lot, yeah Cause I'm all that matters to me, yeah Cause I'm all that matters to me, yeah You think I'm selfish, look at the picture Say it's jealousy when we're gon' with you You want the fame and glory from me I wanna change the story and outcome Cause that's all that matters to me, yeah Cause that's all that matters to me, yeah Cause that's all that matters And so It don't change, it don't change, never change, never do It don't change, it don't change, let them learn Either way, I just say, either way, why go out of my way? Just to make a leap, just to make a leap. Let them burn, let them hate till we make a change. Let them go, let them stay, let them hate that do. Every day, y'all climbing up, they ain't minding us. And once they catch a sight of us, they try to be beside us. Don't change. What's going on everybody? So as you can see, I showed you the whole premise of what you're gonna need to do for the guys that are asking how you complete sets. Um, this positional hero set, if you watched the video prior to this, I wasn't sure if I was gonna go through all of this because the actual collectible for the left outside linebacker was like 400K last, uh, well, last night during the day. It went down to something reasonable as you saw in the beginning of the video. So I could have just bought bar outright for around the same amount that I'm gonna do the positional set for, but the smarter thing to do would have probably been to buy uh, Justin Houston yesterday because he was much cheaper yesterday, but I just wanted to complete it today and get it over with, so I didn't really care. Bottom line is, it's gonna take, you don't have to buy these cards for the ridiculous amounts that it is. Um, for the most part, you're really gonna need to just lurk the auction house. And when I say lurk, lurk the auction house, when it came down to these gold cards, like, you know, after I get the rest of these cards that are like the primary specific cards that you need in the set, um, I just went and lurked the auction house for the cheapest gold and the cheapest elite. Now that sounds simple. It's really not as simple though because what happens is people realize that these cards are worth, you know, whatever it is. And like I said before in previous videos, the market makes the price. So Justin Houston was a hundred and something K just because he was the most, he was the rarest card, you know, elite in the set that was needed. So with that being said, once you know that the card is rare and you see that the price is crazy, you really need to primarily lurk that one card to get it because everything else is going to be fine. So that's the one thing that I didn't do that I should have done. Uh, and I'm going to try to help you guys understand that. You got to figure out which one is the most wanted card. And then, you know, you got to get that one first. That's what makes it worth it. Um, if I would have bought him yesterday, he was even at like, a, what was he at yesterday? I forgot what he was at, but he was a lot cheaper than what it is now. And um, you, can, you can kind of figure what card is going to be the most ridiculous card when the set comes out and usually people still have cards up from previous days you know what i'm saying that are very very cheap obviously the guys that 
are trying to complete these sets really, really quickly and get it out to sell it to, you know, to flip some coins, they're going to probably snatch it up multiple if it's there because that's the way you do it. You flip it, you buy it, you flip it, whatever like that. So you're going to want to make sure that the next positional set that comes out, whatever it is, you're going to want to make sure that you figure out which one of those elite cards is, is, is like the rarest and get and, and just lurk for that card first because that's going to be the problem in the whole set. Because out of everything, getting these, you know, the gold linebacker cards, when you complete the actual solo for Anthony Barr, you get those three bum cards that you can put right into for the any gold linebacker. Now, the average price for every, um, you know, left outside linebacker at the time was about 1,000 to about 1,300 coins. So, you know, what do you need of that? I think you needed like 15 of them. What is that? Let me look at that thing right now that I'm looking. No, 10 gold position. No, no, that's 15. Okay, 25. So you need the 25 of them, right? So that's about 25 Gs real quick on average. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you after I put in what I have here into this. I'm going to go ahead and show you what I did to get that. And then I'm going to go ahead and, uh, you know, give you a quick snippet of the similar thing what I did for the elite left outside linebackers. And then you should understand how, the concept of it. But pretty much lurking the auction house is going to make you a successful mutt player for however many years it's successful you know um it's something that you guys have to be able to master you know refreshing quickly stuff like that you know going over to the left pressing elite again just to refresh to see what's new because people are just going i, I try to get rid of that freaking madden live thing but he can't go into any sets earlier in the year there were other sets that i was able to put those free cards into and i guess ea caught on to it and just started making sure that they're not eligible for any set so whatever i gotta still try it to see if i get rid of those bums i don't need them anyway um so what we're going to do is we're going to look at this. So look, out of every card that's there, I see this Upshaw card, and he's about 1,300 coins, right? So everybody else is looking for average of a little bit more. You know, so what we're going to do is we're going to try to figure out a way to get as many Upshaws as possible, you know, for the cheapest price. So we're just going to go ahead and just type in the first couple letters of his name and um, see what comes up. So go to buy now. And um, all right, good. So we got one for 900. We just spent 1,300. So th this is what I'm saying. You got to... It's just about how you utilize the auction house. Um, you know, people are going to be more skilled at it than you until you put, you know, put time into it to get it done. Like me, I don't, I don't really have time to be staying and bidding and doing all the crap like that. So if you're impatient like me, you're just looking for something that's like quick. Let, let me get it. Let me get the f up out of here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, for dudes that really want to have a come up, you may have to just sit here and lurk because I've seen ridiculous lurks and. People just don't have the time to actually look for values of cards. They just put it up for either wild, outrageous amounts or very, very low amounts. There's never really something that's like in the middle where it's like it's like a, a middle snipe. Dudes either put it crazy priced or it's something ridiculous. Like, like, oh, God damn. Like last year with the Ultimate Calvin, somebody put his collectible up for like 40K when it was going for like 400K on the first day that he came out. So I had to snipe it, dog. I had to do what was right because... Most people are going to say, yo, whatever, I'm just trying to make whatever. They're not going to, you know, in this year's month, they made it easier for you to press L1 and see what it's going for. Um, last year, you had to use a lot of mud head and a lot of guys didn't want to have to like really be on the computer and doing that, you know, going back and forth. So EA Sports did that to kind of make it so that you see what it is right away, the actual market value on your system, on your console at that time. So press an L1 to see what your car goes for. It's probably just a quick tip to let you guys understand so that you don't underprice your items but they're, they're gonna always be the douchebags that's gonna overprice them that you can't prevent so the best case scenario is to always lurk the auction house now we're gonna go ahead and look at the any um you know the elite linebackers in a second i'm just showing you exactly you know putting these guys in the set like i'm letting you guys see like bro buy the same exact damn card if it's cheap don't try to find something else and oh yeah bro I saw Upshaw, his lowest was 900. I'm pretty sure a lot of guys are not running around putting these cards right now at 250, regardless. So I'm gonna go ahead and spend that coin, get it done, get it over with, because I don't wanna deal with, you know what I'm saying, just unnecessary ridiculousness of somebody doing something stupid. Um, it's, it's a very, very simple thing that, that needs to be done. You have to be able to know, you know, the lowest price card, and you gotta know when you're dealing with the uh, auction house, how to quickly refresh. Now, people have so many different ways of doing it. Um, I, I, don't, I don't even know. Probably somebody in the comment section is going to tell me a faster way to do it. But I just keep moving it over to the quality once I have it set up. You know, when you go to the auction house and you already set it to buy now and what you're looking for, 
I just keep going over to what the quality is and clicking on Elite. Like when I get to the Elite section, when I was looking, when I was looking for goals, once I saw that Upshaw, his lowest was 900 coins, that was my guy. So I typed in up. You know what I'm saying? With the Elite uh, left outside linebackers and those type of cards, don't use a specific name unless you know that they're dirt cheap because people will constantly put up cheaper cards you know, for elite status because a lot of these cards, people don't even realize that the sets are out. You know, most, most Mutt players that I've run into don't even care about sets. You know what I'm saying? They're just like, yo, whatever, I got this card, it's a piece of trash, I'm putting it up. So that's a majority of what you're gonna get. So when you're doing this, okay, I'm definitely gonna get rid of my 84 overall bar though. Yo, what, what, what are you trying to do? You're trying, you're trying to let me get rid of it. No, no, I'm not doing that. Bro, I'm not doing that. He's gonna stay with me. So now we're down to getting the elite left outside linebackers. So I'm gonna go ahead, go to the auction house, and I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. Left outside linebacker, elite. All right, bam. You can see that people are actively bidding on that that, that card. I don't have time for bid wars, because what happened with bid wars is you just end up paying more for the goddamn card. You know what I'm saying? Because me, once I start bidding, I don't care if it's a million coins over the price, I want to win that goddamn bid. I don't like to lose, so I don't want to get involved in bid wars. You know what I'm saying, bro? Because it be getting real crazy. Like, you know what I'm saying? People be in my house like, yo, what the hell are you doing? The card is cheaper over there. I'm like, I don't care, bro. I started bidding on this though. And then we get into a fight, and it's like, yo, let's go outside and swing the hands real quick. And I don't really want to do that, so that's pretty much what you want to do. You want to go there to left outside linebacker, elite, and just keep moving over to left and keep pressing elite. And it'll keep giving you the most recent card at the lowest price if you have it set to buy now. And that's it. And you just lurk it. Now you put in the elite badges. You know, obviously, you know, whatever. You can go ahead and combine five goals or just buy it outright. Like I had three just sitting around after I completed the 99 overall OBJ set. I had to buy one. whoop de doo All right, so I spent 15K on that. All right, cool. Completing the set now, you're gonna get 25K back and you're gonna get the Anthony Barr. Um, people are saying, bro, why are you going so crazy for Anthony Barr? In this game, you don't have control over your secondary, but you do have control over people that lurk. And this man is 6'5 with a 95 speed and a 93 jump. There's not much getting over this guy's head. I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys know that right now. So that's the reason why it's such a crazy, bizarre scene for Barr. You know what I'm saying? Because this guy is out of control with it. So. There we go right there. We go ahead and put the uh, the collectible in there. We get the 25K. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and look at this card really quickly and compare them to my 99 Von Miller. I'm just very surprised that they didn't just make them overall 99. It's just kind of ridiculous that you would do 97 when you've already been releasing other 99 cards, but that's neither here nor there. It don't matter. I got my speed, I got my acceleration. I got everything I need out of this Anthony Barr, so I'm pretty much good. Um, I told you guys that asked about it on Instagram, that asked about it on Twitter, that I would explain how I did it in the videos. This is just more of a, you know, recollection of what actually I actually put into it. You know, did I just use actually twice? Yeah, it's about what I put into it. Don't worry about it. Um, and that 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 it is what it is. So, that being said, I'm not gonna try to do a dual B gap thing with Vaughn and Anthony. Nah, should I do that? I don't know. If you guys want me to do that, I might experiment with that. Let me know in the comments. But I like using my Anthony Bar. Uh, but I would put him in, you know, just to see how he is on the line, just for the hell of it. Hopefully this helps someone. Until next time, one love.